Disclaimer, I'm going to be doing some other kinds of videos on this channel every now and then. I have another channel where I do a lot of those things, but that one has barely any views, almost no subscribers, you know, all that fun stuff. So I am going to start posting them here where I at least have a little bit. And if you don't like that sort of thing, ignore it. I'll still be posting my other videos as well. Toontown Rewritten. This is a reboot of my favorite game from my childhood, Toontown Online. It's a great game. Check it out if you don't already know about it. There were many glitches in the game since it was made 12 years ago. Many of them at first I thought were fixed, but they weren't. So here we go. In Acorn Acres, in order to get out of bounds really easily, just go up to a fence and then stand there. Then have one of your friends teleport to you. They will teleport to the other side of the fence. Then they can just walk out of bounds, go wherever they want, see the waterfall, and how utterly disappointing it actually is. They can also go over to the gray area. It is this area where they don't have any textures or anything because it's out of bounds. If you jump, then you will freeze frame in that position. You won't actually go up at all, you'll just stay there. And so this cool trick exists where if you go up to the border between the gray area and the normal area, you jump to this freeze frame position, and if you just barely walk out into the normal area, you'll complete your jump. You'll actually rise up into the air. Now, if you do this and then immediately back up back into the gray area, you will be higher than before. Or alternatively, you could just jump into the gray area at that height. Now, if you have another friend teleport to you at that height, you can then repeat the process and get higher and higher until you are way up into the sky. Still disappointing. In Donald's Dreamland, or anywhere else really, you can get out of bounds in another way. You teleport to your friend, and you have them walk through the door or tunnel right as your portal hits the ground. If done correctly, you should end up out of bounds. Then you can walk around, go on the big pillow in the playground, and then if you teleport to someone who is out of bounds from a stairway going up or down, you will be able to continue going up or down at that incline. Both of these work anywhere. In the headquarters, for example, you can do the same thing. You can also, if you use the stairs, go up really high and go above the center of the headquarters. If you land just correctly back into the area where gravity is in effect, then you can land on top of the center section and land behind the counter. It's kind of hard to do, but it's pretty cool. If you go out of bounds in Donald's Dock and then go up and then go up high enough such that you land directly into the water, you will run on the ground inside the water. This also works in any headquarters, basically. There's another cool thing that works too. If you want to get gags, for example, but you don't want to walk all the way back to the tunnel, just go to Welcome Valley. Welcome Valley kind of functions as a side district, such that it doesn't register that you've actually left the playground. You've just gone to another district. But Welcome Valley only exists in Toontown Central. This isn't really a glitch, I think of it more like a feature. But because of this, if you go get gags, get more health, whatever, if you go to another district again, or just go back to a playground after going into a building, then you will come back to Cellbot headquarters without having to walk through the tunnels and all that other stuff. You can also use Welcome Valley to get more gag experience when fighting normal cogs. First go to a district with an invasion, and then go to Welcome Valley. It will still register that you haven't left the playground, that you are in an invasion district. So you can go fight normal cogs of low level and get twice the experience. Now there's another glitch called the fishing glitch, which used to exist in Toontown and I thought was fixed, but it's not. There's just another way of doing it. What you have to do is you have to go right in front of the dock. Then you walk up towards it very carefully and slowly. Right as you touch the fishing dock such that you go into the fishing position, you have to open your sticker book using Escape or F8. It's extremely difficult, but it isn't fixed. When you do this, you're able to close your book again after the fishing HUD has come up, and you're able to walk around. Keep in mind this will go away if you let the timer run out, so you have to cast a line every now and then. If you go to another fishing dock, then you can have two lines. This also works anywhere, but unfortunately, unlike in the past, you can't use this to run around and battle with cogs. With the fishing glitch, if you go into the water, you will still be in an upright position, so that it looks kind of like you're dead. You can't go into this position using the Toons of the World Unite emote anymore because the emote has been fixed for the most part. If you go into the trolley and then exit, you can stand on the trolley instead of sitting on it, kind of like it used to be. 
Now if you want to run around in COG battle, all you have to do is first go to BossBot headquarters, for example. Then you would go to one of your friends and you would hit the ignore button. Don't actually ignore them, just leave the pop-up there. In order to leave this on the screen, one easy way to leave this on the screen such that you can use it for glitches is to open your sticker book at your house, for example, hit back to playground, and then immediately hit ignore as you're closing your sticker book. Then it will stay there. When you get back to the playground, it should still be there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to one of the COG courses. It doesn't work if your laugh points are too high in boss by headquarters because you need to get the other error as seen here. Instead of hitting the X on that, you hit the X on the ignore button. It will register that you hit cancel and it will let you move again, even though you still have the error present. So from there, you go into a COG battle and you hit cancel. Then it will let you run around during the COG battle. Unfortunately, you can't get into two COG battles at once like you used to, they just kind of ignore you. Someone told me that if you get sad when doing this, something interesting happens, but I got sad and nothing happened. So I wouldn't trust that. This concept also works in Cellbot headquarters. You do the same thing, but instead go to the factory. Then you want to try to teleport somewhere whilst in a boarding group. You will get a similar error at the top of the screen that you can then use to go into COG battles. But unfortunately, it's limited due to the fact that it only works in the two headquarters. You would be able to do a lot of other glitches with this, such as things with the trolley or with fishing in the playgrounds if parties were still available, but right now they're not functioning. At houses, there's a number of glitches you can also do with the attic. For example, in Toontown Rewritten, you used to be able to become invisible if you just exit the house at the same time as going into the attic. That one does not seem to be working at all for me anymore. Unfortunately, this does not seem to be working anymore in Toontown Rewritten. You can still, however, do a number of other glitches. If you jump in the air and then hit attic, and then come back out of the attic, you will be floating and be able to do different emotes while walking around. You used to be able to also go into the gray area outside of the house and even put furniture there and make it like a second room. At first I thought this was unable to be done, but I found out that was wrong. You can do it, it's just a little bit different. You use the same glitch here that you would use to get out of bounds that you would anywhere else. Just use a friend to teleport to them right as they exit through the door. Then you go into the attic and you're able to place things down. If you want to have a second floor, all you have to do is place down a circular rug. These rugs, for some reason, have gravity to them, unlike everything else. So you can jump normally on them, whereas you will just float elsewhere. Once you're up in the air, you can use friends to teleport to you, or you can just place down objects like another rug, and it will be higher above the other one. If you repeat this glitch, then you can basically make multiple floors to your house. Or you can even make stairs that lead outside, or just make your wardrobe lead to the gray area. That's all for now, I may add more later. I've been getting really into this game lately because I used to play it a lot as a kid. It's a fun game, it has a lot to offer, it's original. If college kids today can still play Pokemon, then I can play this. I may or may not be coming out with more Toontown videos, I don't know, I'll see. But in the meantime, look at my other videos. I have an occasional good video here and there, and thanks for watching.